Hi there. Today we're going to go through the Manage Integrations page, which will allow you to integrate with cloud providers using the Cloud Documents tile. In addition, this will allow you to integrate with more providers further down the line when we introduce more tiles to take advantage of cloud APIs that are available on the web. In order to be able to integrate with a cloud provider, you'll need to go to the landing page of Live Tiles Design. Once you're on that page, you'll need to go to Manage. With Manage, you'll open up and you'll see a new panel that says Manage Integrations. When you click on the Manage Integrations tab, a window will appear on your screen. Here, you'll be able to see all the providers currently available using Live Tiles Design. At the moment, we have the storage shared integrations Drop, Dropbox, Google Drive, and OneDrive. Now we're going to show you how to integrate with OneDrive. In order to integrate with a OneDrive account, you'll need to click on the OneDrive icon. Here you'll be able to see your existing integrations as well as add a new integration. If you would like to add a new account, you'll need to click on the Add Integration Account button. Here, you'll be able to give a description of the integration as well as any permissions if you'd like it to be viewable by certain groups. So, what we're going to do is we're going to add a new integration and click Continue. This will then lead you to an integration setup page which will automatically take you to the login page of the application you would like to integrate with. We'll log in with this account here. When you click on this account, it will take you to a page which will link you straight away. However, on occasion, it will ask for permission. If so, you just need to say yes. At this point, it will then reload the page, and when you go to the Manage Integrations button and click on OneDrive, you'll see the account is now available. When you click on the wrench, it will allow you to edit. You can add groups, add members, as well as change the name. For example, if we want to make it so that the only people that can see the folder are LiveTiles owners and LiveTiles designers, we just go to LiveTiles owners and add them. You can add different groups this way. When you click, it'll ask you if you want to make the changes. You'll click OK, and only those groups will be able to see the folder. After this, you'll need to integrate the tile that links directly to it. Whether creating a new blank page or editing a page that already exists, you'll need to go to the design canvas where you'll be able to drag on the Cloud Documents tile. This can be found on the Documents page. Drag the Cloud Documents tile onto the page, click the gear in the top left corner, go to Documents, and you'll be able to select your integration. As you can see here under Test Integration, that's the integration we're going to use, you can in addition choose the starting folder. So for example, if you'd like to open a folder like slash image slash gif, you type in slash image slash gif. Also, under base folder name, you can choose what the name of the actual tile says. So instead of it saying OneDrive, you can have it say Test Integration. In addition, you can also choose the date format, either month, day, year, or day, month, year. We'll change it to day, month, year. When you click OK, what it will do is it'll take the information and grab it, allowing you to see the folder once completed. And that's the OneDrive folder. Thanks for watching.